We explain how Russia's invasion of Ukraine is creating a global food crisis. Together, Russia and Ukraine are enormous producers of sunflower oil, fertilizer, and grains like wheat, corn, and barley. Together, they account for 12% of the world's calories. With Ukraine under attack, the wheat fields in Ukraine have turned into battlefields. The farm workers are fleeing or fighting on the front lines. Black Sea ports are also cut off, meaning that huge supplies of food are trapped. In addition, Russian products are also cut off from much of the world. So where does that leave global food supplies? There is wheat on the market, which will enable countries to get by in the near term. But the real problem is the prices. When Russia invaded Ukraine, wheat prices increased by 12%. This means higher grocery bills for many. For others, it means starvation. Traditionally, when food prices are high, farmers plant more to benefit optimally from the high prices. Greater stocks then bring the food prices down again. However, to get a good crop, you need fertilizer. Russia is the world's single largest exporter of fertilizer. It accounts for nearly 15% of the world's exports. But the sanctions on Russia has an impact on the availability of Russian fertilizer. In addition, soaring energy prices also increase the price of fertilizers because nitrogen-based fertilizers are made using natural gas. So, prices of fertilizers are now at all-time highs. The fertilizer crisis is threatening to worsen what is already becoming a crisis in food. High fertilizer prices will cause farmers to apply less fertilizer, which will result in crops that are less in quantity, less in size, and lower in nutrients. When animals are fed with crops that have fewer nutrients, the result is ultimately skinnier animals. The domino effect is higher meat prices. So, grain is locked up in Ukraine and Russia. As a result, grain prices are higher. Fertilizer could help solve the problem, but prices for it are sky-high too. The world is already deprived of a lot of the current year crop from Ukraine. But what about the ability to plant and harvest the next crop in a country ravaged by war? This food crisis could drag on for a number of years.